This lesson is going to be on using grep. Uh, grep is a uh, regular expression line processor that you can use to parse lines out of a text file or other utilities. Let's go ahead and start by creating a test file in our home directory. VI, we'll do, call it test.txt. And let's just add a few words here. What Frank testing one. Hello world. Test. And one, two, three, testing. All right, let's go ahead and save and exit this. And let's start with a basic example of grep. Now by default, grep is a case sensitive search. So if we did grep space, let's say we were looking for the word test within the file test.txt, it would type it as follows and we would press enter. You'll see no results would return. Now usually if it, a word was there, it would give you every line that contained that word test. Let's try with the dash i flag which will search case insensitively. And you'll see it found three lines. Each of these lines contain the word test. Test is within testing, test, and testing. And you'll see that it's case insensitive search. Let's go ahead and try test like this without the case insensitive flag so you can see. Now, you can use single quotes or double quotes. Usually single quotes are better when you're trying to process data. Now, let's say, now also you can use regular expression with grep. Um, let's go over a little bit about the different meta characters. You have the caret, the dot, the asterisk, and the period. Now, each of these there's also many more, but I'm just going to give you a general breakdown. The caret will give you a way to tell you, does the string start with this letter? The dot means any character. The asterisk, the asterisk means uh, zero or more times, if the character happens to be in there zero or more times. And the question mark is one or more times. Now you also have the dollar sign that we will be using that will determine if the string ends with whatever string we pro uh, provide it. So let's go ahead and try first let's just see the contents of the file and let's say we wanted to find the string that starts with the word or the numbers one two three. So we would do grep caret one two three close the single quote and we do on the file name and you'll see it return the one file. Let's say we wanted to, let's say we just change this out with world from our line that has hello world. You'll see that it returns nothing since we have no lines that actually begin with the word world. Now if we wanted to see, if we wanted to do a test to see what line ends with the file, with the name world, we would just use the dollar sign symbol and you'll see it returns you the line hello world. Another another flag that you can use is the dash V flag. Now this will return any option, so let's go ahead and try it. Let's say we wanted to return every line that does not contain the word test. So grep dash V inverted and let's do Let's do the I and test off of test.txt. And you'll see it return Frank and Hello World. Two lines, case insensitively. Now you can also you can also use pipes to actually filter your results even more. Let's go ahead and try to filter out Frank as well, just to leave Hello World. Grep. So we'll do dash vi test space text.txt 
pipe. Now let's return, let's pipe the output into the input stream of grep again. grep v. And we'll do Frank. And you'll see we only return the line hello world. Now let's go ahead and create a few more files. Let's copy the test file to test2.txt and let's do the test3.txt. Now we have three different test files. So let's say we wanted to search throughout all of those files for the word Frank. Grep, let's do dash i, Frank, off of test, and you'll see with the asterisk, that means for anything after, any file that starts with test and ends with whatever after, it'll return me all the lines that contain that word Frank. So test 2 had one line, test 3 had one line, and test had one line. Now let's say I just wanted to return the line, the file name, sorry. I'll add the dash L flag, and it will return just the file names. Now if I had folders and nested folders and I wanted to search recursively throughout these folders, I could just do asterisk and then use an R flag and that would search recursively. Another flag that you can use when using grep is if let's say you wanted to see two lines above the file or one line above not above the file but above your search string let's go ahead and view the contents I guess again of test and let's say we wanted to view the two lines above hello world and the two lines after hello world we could do grep dash c two so you're telling it how many lines and then we would just do let's do dash i again and hello world on the test.txt and you'll receive you'll see it returned you in this case all of the lines within that file but more so two lines above the string that we were searching and two lines after the string now I'm not expecting everybody to remember every flag but you could use grep dash dash help let's go ahead and pipe that to the less which would give you all of the other flags that you can use and explain a little more in detail what each one would do for you. Now before we wrap it up let's talk a little bit more about the regular expression part of the search and let's go ahead and clear our window so let's view the contents again of test.txt and let's say we wanted to get every line that contained a number. Now we could do grep and then these square brackets. Now within the square brackets we can do 0 to 9 and then we'll do on the test file and you'll see it returns any line that contained at least one number. Now if we wanted to do now we could use the dot for any character and the asterisk for zero or more characters of these numbers that we passed it so it'll be any line that contains a number and everything after that number must be numbers and we could say it starts with a number you'll see it return one two three and it return and it had zero or more numbers after that one 